Hey guys, it's here. Today I finally put myself in front of the camera and we are going to make a quick walkthrough on my new online brush pack for Procreate. This brush pack includes 30 Procreate brushes and I also added 26 worksheets on the alphabet in 5 different styles. I divided this pack into 4 categories, starting with the first one, the round tip brushes. The first brush is called Round Gravel. This brush has an overall rough look and can add some pretty nice textures to your lettering. Next up we have the Round Tex 3D. This one is building up on the brush from my previous outline brush pack and comes with this brush like texture. Following up on this comes the Round Tex 3D bottom. This one is similar to the previous brush but it got the depth on the bottom side. The next one is called Round Spray. This is actually one of the first brushes I made for this pack. For this one I kind of played around and experimented a bit on the brush made of spray effects. Next up we have a group called Round Brushes. These are inspired by these round sponge brushes I'm using lately and all three of these have a rough texture and shape. The following brush is called Round Half Tones and I experimented a little bit with half tone patterns. Alright, this one is called Round Drips. I didn't want to focus this brush back on drip brushes, but I just had to add this one. Um, it's kind of overloaded with these drips and you can get a pretty cool effect on that. The last one of these round drip brushes is the round raster. It initially was the result of messing up the grain source on the outline, but I really like this half tone like pattern. It creates it, so I kept it. Alright, moving on to our next section, the broad brushes. Um, first one is the broad edgy. The next two brushes are inspired by a series of pieces I did earlier this year with a brush on a wall and I tried to get this texture I had on the wall on these brushes. Following up on that we have a broad drip brush with a more decent drip effect. The next brush is inspired by the pattern you get when you do like a fast fill in or look at older graffitis where the paint is wearing off. I just kind of like the pattern and played a bit around with it. And the last one of the broad brushes is a textured broad brush. Our next category is featuring chisel tip brushes. I felt like these came kind of short on the previous outline packs, so I tried to explore more in this direction this time. And the result are four chisel tip brushes. The first one is a chisel tip brush with an overall rough look, which looks kind of like it's sketch or something. Next we have a flare-like brush, um, just, just something I felt like I could add as a chisel tip brush. Following up on that, we have another of these fast fill like brushes here on the chisel tip. Last but not least, uh, probably my favorite brush from this category, the chisel tex. This one has a good overall rough look and works also great on black letters. And the last main brush category of this pack are the felt tip brushes. These are featuring some of my favorite brushes of this pack and starting with the felt tip smooth. You can see you can add a little bit of depth to your stroke in the moment where you came from applying lower pressure to applying more pressure. You can get you some pretty neat results on script for example because you get this exact moment when you go from an upstroke to a downstroke. The next two brushes are pretty similar to the first one. The second one, the felt tip hard, uh, has a more harder effect. And the felt of fade also has a fading effect to it, which kind of adds more additional depth to your stroke. The next brush is called felt of text and has a brush-like texture to it. Following up on that, you have the felt of rough, which is pretty clean in comparison to the previous brushes, but also has this uh, rough kind of outline. Last but not least on this section, we have the felt tip rustler which is building up on this halftone pattern we already saw in the round tip brushes. And to finish this pack off, I added a couple of extra brushes which can you use to add more details to your work. The first one is the Schlummer Pinsel version 3. This brush is already in all of my brush packs and I tried to develop it a bit further and adapt to this pack, um, so I added a more rough texture to it. Next up is the brush red mix. This brush is from the broad brushes and is also inspired by these round sponge brushes um, I'm using lately. I mainly use this one to add backgrounds. And the last three brushes are drip brushes and two splatter brushes. Alright, that's already it with the walkthrough. Um, I just have a quick trip for you on this brush pack. 
and you're using the brush bed mix for a background and you use like a, here in this example a red light color, a black color and a white color and you go to effects, go to gradient map and try out these different gradient maps you can get some pretty surprising uh, color comps um, which can look pretty cool Alright, that's it with the walkthrough. I hope you can get a good insight on this brush pack. And feel free to ask if you have any further questions. And once again, I already sent out a discount code to everyone who already got the previous outline pack. Uh, so check your inbox. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.